From the historic CBS Studio Center, welcome everyone to the 2010 Valley of the Stars Gala Dinner and Awards Ceremony. This is our 13th gala. This evening of celebration honors exemplary people and organizations in arts and entertainment, business, and education in the San Fernando Valley. Previous galas have been hosted at renowned venues such as the Ronald Reagan Library, Warner Brothers Studios, Universal Studios, and the Walt Disney Studios. Last year, we celebrated our 12th annual gala at the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Burbank swings like a pendulum do in beautiful downtown Burbank, USA. <laughs> Tonight, we return to the CBS Studio Center for a second time, where we last celebrated our gala in 2007. I came to California when I was a year and a half old. California wasn't a state yet, of course, you know. <laughs> Conceived in 1994 in response to the Northridge earthquake, the Valley Economic Alliance has grown to become the best source for connecting Valley businesses, workers, and residents with resources that can improve their individual economic conditions and those of our five city regions. This includes the great cities of Burbank, Calabasas, Glendale, Los Angeles, and San Fernando. In the current economic climate, the Valley Economic Alliance's creed of better businesses, better jobs, better communities is critical to our recovery. It's by organizing events like these that we help achieve our mission of sustaining and building this economy in the Valley. In 2010, the Valley Economic Summit, hosted in conjunction with California State University Northridge, presented vital reports and information to our region's local businesses. Expert panelists and speakers joined keynote speakers Mark R. Goldston, President and CEO of United Online, and Peter Lowy, Group Managing Director of Westfield, in directing businesses to important strategies and programs designed to help recover from these difficult times and succeed in the future. And so the good news is you're spending more, the bad news is you're saving less. But I have a firm belief that as business owners, as investors and as citizens, we need to be involved in the political process. In January, the Alliance hosted the second annual Valley Business Expo at which over a thousand guests networked with more than 75 participating businesses. This is the largest business-to-business -business expo in North Los Angeles County. The Aviation Career Day at the famous Van Nuys Airport gave students and adults the chance to discover exciting career possibilities in the aviation industry. For the third year in a row, the Hire a Hero, Hire a Vet Job Fair and Expo was the largest veteran job fair in the entire country. The Manufacturing Technologies Laboratory, operated through LA Valley College, has trained more than 3,000 students, visiting five job fairs, six career fairs, and 12 high schools around the valley. Last November, Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa visited the Alliance to introduce the new LAPD Chief of Police, Charlie Beck, to the valley community. This decision to select the police chief, I've said many times, uh, was is one of the most important decisions that I'm going to make. And my goal in, in all the places that I've worked is to make businesses work, to make schools work, to make community work. Working with the Northridge Neighborhood Councils and the City of Los Angeles, the Alliance is proud to announce the Northridge Vision, a new campaign designed to revitalize the community. One of the many ways the Alliance is adapting and growing in this changing, challenging economy is through a number of green programs and events. The Alliance continued their efforts with the Canoga Park Green Learning Garden. Introduced three years ago, this environmental public park now features two greenhouses, a cistern system, 13 raised gardens, and a rainforest brick pathway. We have continued many strategic relationships, such as Project Grad, which celebrates its 11th year. The Steve Allen Excellence in Education Awards recognized individuals, schools, and groups for their outstanding achievements. The award ceremony included this year's Business Education Partnership Award. This year, the Alliance has teamed up with new investors, including Anheuser-Busch, Paris Industrial Parks, Call Source, White Zuckerman LLP, and Vons. For us, the Alliance 
plays a significant leadership role in ensuring that we have a vibrant economy. And quite frankly, it's our responsibility to be involved with organizations that do such great work. The Alliance played a critical role in expanding enterprise zones in the Valley. We're a remanufacturer of computer printer toner cartridges. Coming up the enterprise zone is going to do a few different things for us. Uh, some of it's providing tax credits for employees that we hire in the area, and there's a series of conditions that need to apply for us, but that can help that individual as well as ourselves, but also as far as being able to eliminate sales tax. Working to unite the cities of the Valley, the Alliance and its research arm, the Mulholland Institute, were instrumental in developing the San Fernando Valley Council of Governments. This COG is a joint powers authority, an intergovernmental agency that includes the cities of Burbank, Glendale, San Fernando, Santa Clarita, and the valley portions of the city and county of Los Angeles. The COG will create and administer projects that cross jurisdictional lines in areas such as transportation, community development, and the environment. The ongoing I-5 corridor report vital to this region's economy is just one example of a COG program. The Board of Directors of the Economic Alliance also adopted the Los Angeles County Strategic Plan for Economic Development, prepared by LAEDC as the official development guidelines for the San Fernando Valley. With nearly 2 million residents and over 75,000 businesses and diverse industries, the San Fernando Valley region will be recognized as the fifth largest metro region in the country in the 2010 U.S. Federal Census, thanks to the efforts of the Alliance. This year, the Alliance launched its brand new website, thevalley.net, featuring rich content to connect and inform businesses, individuals, and the community. To promote businesses that have created an ongoing positive impact in the Valley, the Alliance has created the Quarterly Economic Engine Award. This year's honored recipients include Providence Holy Cross Medical Center, Earth Island, Call Source, and the Airtel Plaza Hotel. The 12th Annual Method Fest, an official Valley of the Stars event, was celebrated in Calabasas again this year. With great pride and enthusiasm, the Alliance has collaborated for more than a decade with its strategic partners, investors, and stakeholders to foster growth and success in the Valley. We are passionate about business retention, expansion, and recruitment. At MSC, we continue to hire employees, and not only through traditional channels, but through the Transitional Subsidized Employee Program, which is what uh, the Economics Alliance has turned us on to, and it's provided a win-win situation. And so I see different business advocate groups all over the city. The Valley Economic Alliance really is just the best of the best. This vibrant region with its diverse population is a highly desirable place to live, work, and visit. And thanks to the entertainment industry, the San Fernando Valley is known both near and far as simply the Valley. This alliance is committed to increasing opportunities through powerful programs that create positive economic growth and enhance the quality of life in the Valley.